Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new Let's Play series here on Carmston Farms. The map released by Oxygen David. Um, this series is going to replace my existing Elm Creek series on the channel um, because I've decided I'm current. I don't want to do two um, two Let's Plays, two series on Elm Creek. Um, I'm doing the single player. Let I was doing the single player Let's Play on Elm Creek. I'm also playing Elm Creek in multiplayer, and that's just it's a little bit too much Elm Creek, and I would like a little bit more variety in my farm sim. Um, week <laughs> in my schedule um, so I've decided to stop the Elm Creek Let's Play series and replace it with Calmston Farms here this lovely wonderful map that recently released on the mod hub by Oxygen David the well-known map maker um, who produces very very good maps I've already done a map tour map review video of this map uh, feel free to go and check that out after you've watched this video. Um, and like I say, going forward, this 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 will be a single player series here on the YouTube channel. How Baileron will obviously continue as well here on the channel, and I will be posting some content, more content from the multiplayer server in the form of uh, like standalone let's play type recordings. And then also um, stream highlights, stream archives, stream bobs when we've played on the server. But we are here on Calmston Farms. And this series is going to be a little bit different from my previous two Let's Plays. Both How Baileron and the Elm Creek series in the fact that I'm going to actually have a few more rules in place on this particular save. Um... To give me a bit more of a challenge one of the things i will not be doing in this save is i will not be picking up any collectibles so i'm not going to be taking free the free money from the collectibles to boost my finances nor am i going to be selling off any diesel stations dog kennels or anything like that to get free money um so all my money must be earned the, 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 the legitimate way by um, um, doing farming also to make this challenge series a little bit more of a challenge and a bit different I'm not allowed to take any bank loans I'm not allowed to loan any money at all so if I want anything or I need anything I must raise the cash myself and I must therefore buy it myself Okay. Another rule that I'm imposing is that if I I can only lease one item of equipment at a time. So if I go into the store and I lease a tractor, for example, that's it. I'm not allowed to lease anything else until I return that tractor. Okay. So again, it's going to make things a little bit more challenging. I can't have multiple equipment leases. The only exception to that rule, of course, is harvesters. Harvesters and harvesting equipment. Um, if I lease a harvester, I'm also allowed to lease a header and a header trailer because as far as I'm concerned, that's one package. So the harvesters are the exception to the rule. But everything else, if I lease something, like if I lease a cedar, that's it. I can't lease anything else until I return the cedar. So, I can't have multiple long-term loans, uh, leased and borrowed equipment. Um, I'm also imposing a rule on myself that I can only have one worker hired at any time. Which means I can't have multiple course play drivers driving in fields. I can't have multiple auto drivers driving all around the map, doing whatever they want to do. Um... So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit trickier. And also, when that comes to contracts as well, yes, there are contracts on the map that we can obviously go and do. However, I'm not allowed to use the workers for doing the contracts. If I take a contract 
I must do the work myself. Okay. Workers, if I hire a worker, he's only allowed to work on my fields, on my land, doing my jobs, basically. Um, so, yes, here we are in the lovely Cotswolds, here in the UK. Um, farm is just literally down the road from the house. And we can have a bit of a look and see what's going on. Um, got a harvester I think as far as I know as far as I know the harvester is the only piece of equipment we have um, I literally am starting with a blank slate yes um, we have no other equipment <laughs> here at the farm this is literally like Jeremy Clarkson in Clarkson's Farm. Um, starting out first season and ultimately having to go to the farm auction and get a load of equipment. To get himself a tractor, get himself a cultivator, get himself all the stuff he's going to need. We've got nothing apart from the harvester. The harvester's the only bit of equipment we currently own. I've come up with a plan. I shall farm it myself. Right. I guess that means we need to head to the store then, because as you can see, we've got fields that need to be harvested straight away. Right out the gate. We've got a couple of fields that need to be harvested. <laughs> Look, there's a combine there, and there, there's another. I need a combine harvester. Every farm's got a combine on it. Look, a combine harvester. This is what we've been looking forward to. Right, you are all set. My first harvest. Let's do this. Oh, yes. I'm actually doing farming. I'm doing it. Look at that, I'm farming. What a machine you are. I need one eye there. I need to be a pigeon. I'm actually doing farming. That's how you solve problems. We are in business. So although we've got harvesters, we haven't got a trailer, as far as I'm aware. Oh, no, we do have a trailer. We do have a trailer. OK, we've got a little tippy trailer. And we've got the telehandler. They must be at the other location. Right. OK, so... What has the store got available? Now, we're probably going to be using a lot of leasing. Um, hmm, Massey Ferguson. 48% off for 220 horsepower Massey Ferguson tractor. Possible to consider. Um, T9. <laughs> Spend all my money on a T9. Um, that is a five meter cultivator. Hmm. Would be useful. So I'm looking at the second hand stuff at the minute, obviously. See if there's anything good. Power roll. Uh, Hello, header. Doing corn and stuff. Um, Case Magnum tractor. <sighs> Big boy tractor. Uh, oh. Ooh, that tractor's looking promising. A second-hand class Axion 960 for 131,000. 
we could then get a 12.2 meter cultivator. Hmm. Let's have a look. So that's the base price. So it's a 940. So it's actually got 385 horsepower. Um, that's going to add a little bit extra for the paint job. Um, but want it with GPS, it's going to cost me another 15 grand on top of that. Starts getting a bit pricey. Doesn't come with any wheel weights. Hmm. But it's a 940. I mean, it could be upgraded. Cost me an extra 91,000. Um, I think we go with that one. We're going to have that class. So we bought that. It will be big enough to pull a 12 meter cultivator. But I'm thinking to myself, we probably don't want a 12 meter cultivator. Probably a little bit on the big side. So I'm thinking maybe the Lemkin here. Possibly. Where was that Massey Ferguson? That little Massey. Wouldn't it be great if we could get that with a front loader attachment? Perhaps. And that's going to put the price up by 76,000. Could we get that with narrow tyres? We could. Oh, that would be useful. However, it's going to put oh, 99 grand. I mean, 185 grand, 82 grand. Mm. There's, there's, there's things. <laughs> um, maybe we don't worry about cultivators right at this point in time. Uh, is there going to be any cheaper ones in the store? There's the Amazoni. Well, that requires 400 horsepower. Uh, that requires 240. That's 37 grand, that's 5 meters. Hmm. We might go for that one. I mean, plows. Do we have really much of an option when it comes to plows? Probably not. That requires 435 horsepower. That requires 320. In a six meter plow. Um, we'll buy one of those <clears throat> for the tractor. Uh, we can have a look at disc arrows, maybe. Uh, some of these might be a good option for us. But again, I'm a bit conscious of the power requirement for some of these. Uh, although that one's not bad. 250. But it, it's John Deere. Hmm. 
Power Harrows. Six meter power harrow. Mm. Right, let's get ourselves a weight tool. Don't want an 1800 weight on my tractor. Yes, why not? Right, <clears throat> let's go <coughs> pick up. Uh, let me just sort out some of these auto drive things. Maximum trigger distance, path by the factor, vision over ground, we'll set that back to it default, beacon light. We'll apply that. <clears throat> right, there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. So, the, we obviously need to get a bit of equipment purchased. We've got no lime spreading tools or anything like that. So, we'll bring this back to the farm. And then what we can do, we can start harvesting. So here we are then. Carbston Farm. It's a lovely looking map. Very beautiful map by Oxygen David. I've also, on this map, got the HD textures. Um, and also the custom brands and also the seasonal textures from Oxygen's own Discord group installed and added to the map folder. So the PC map that I'm playing on should look a little bit different to the um, console version because we've got the extra textures and stuff now that Oxy's released so we can uh, pimp, our, pimp our map a little bit further. Right, I need to go get the... Well, I need to go get the grain trailer, don't I? some point because if we're going to start harvesting we're going to need a tra trailer to tip into right just for the time being Let's go drop this in here. And then let's go and pick up the uh, 
the tipper trailer. Now, I will be playing on two-day seasons, or uh, two-day months, um, once we get, um, once we get a rocking and a rolling. Um, I'll figure out how I get to the other farm. Uh, I appear to be driven into someone's garden. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> Navigating my way around the map might be a little bit interesting. Yeah, we don't go that way. Here we are. Perfect. There's our little trailer. Let's head back to the farm and put our bacons on so we are abiding by the rules um, yeah up the road here into the farm. Right, parking there. We're going to need the harvester next. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> um, need to dis I have to pull the header trailer out with the tractor. position. Right. We can now pick up the header. Might as well unfold the combine while we're here. a tree there half sunk into the blooming map there we go combine in we're doing combine in
I'm gonna get my headlands done. So yes, let's have a quick look at the old map of Rooney while we're heading down here. We own quite a bit of land, as you can see. We have got wheat and barley to harvest. Uh, we have got some canola as well to harvest. We've got a bunch of grass fields. So we could probably do at some point with a, a mower as well. Maybe a baler. Get some silage done early. Get some money so we can expand our equipment list. Yes, it's going to be very, very interesting this series, seeing how we progress and how we move forward. I fully expect this to be like a Clarkson's Farm type simulation. We're almost starting in September as he did, so we've almost got like the cultivating to do and crop planting and everything. And Interesting. Field 5's just been harvested. Is there a contract for Field 5? There was. It's now disappeared. So yes, we've got three crops to harvest right out of the gate. And then we've got, obviously, the fields to re-prepare. Um, I mean, let's have a look at the crop growth calendar. So yeah, harvest time. In fact, technically, you've missed the heart barley harvesting season. Okay, we might need to get this done today then, otherwise it might end up going withered. And then we've got the wheat. Oversteered.
do love these fields on this map. They're so big. They're not square as well, which is great. <laughs> means you actually have to do a bit of driving yourself when working them. You can't just hit cruise control and rely on auto drive and and um, AI workers. Once I complete this row, I will go and get the trailer and we'll do a nice spot of unloading. Just park this somewhere where it's not going to be in the way. So, header trailer can now live there. Let me go grab the trailer. First trailer load of barley. I've done a thing. I've done a thing. We've harvested. We've harvested some barley. Screenshot for the thumbnail.
Right, I will carry on and harvest this field, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode here on Carnston Farms. I hope you're looking forward to the next one. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you've clicked the like button for me. Also, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not doing so already. Leave me your comments, your questions, your suggestions and feedback in the comment section down below. Share the video with everyone you can and everywhere you can. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon with some more Farming Simulator 22 content. I've been Seawalling. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gents. Stay safe. Goodbye for now.